In part two, we will use the new optional data object feature to data bind an RSS feed to a lyric scene. Now I'm going to create a lyric template for an RSS feed of the world top stories. To start, let's add this image to lyrics canvas and move it to the bottom of the screen. Now we'll add a 2D text box and type top stories. And then I'll move that into place over the blue bar. I'm going to add a second 2D text box and we'll use that white text and this is where I'm going to have the RSS text. So I want to put a template box around that as well. And now I'm going to move that text box into place. And once I have it set, then I'm going to lasso that template and stretch the template out to the desired width. Now in the 2D text properties, I'm going to name this uh, RSS text. And while I'm at it, I also like renaming all the objects in the scene graph so it's really easier to distinguish one from the other, especially when we have a lot of elements in the scene graph. Now I've decided that the animation for the RSS text is to push from the right coming on and pushing off to the bottom. But I want the text to appear that it's moving from behind a soft mask. So let's add an image to the scene and use it as a soft mask. So this white ramped image, I'm putting it in the scene and I'm just going to resize it a little bit so that it basically fits over that uh, RSS text. And then I'm going to scale it out the full width of the screen. And now to adjust it even more, I'm going to go to the surface properties. And I'll set the mapping to clamp so I don't want it to, be, to repeat across the screen. And then just adjust the size and the position of the object and then push it over to the right of the screen. Now I'm going to go into mask properties and assign that as a, as a layer or as, as layer one masking. And let's also rename it uh, in the scene graph to RSS mask. And I'll invert the mask and then select the RSS text as the layer to the mask. Now I always like grouping uh, the layer that I'm going to move around. So let's group the text into a new group. And let's test this mask by moving the text to the right to see if it actually does disappear behind the text. And it does. Okay, that looks good. So now let's finally group all the layers in the scene graph so it's easier to move the whole group. And I'll rename this as top group. Now with the group selected, click Add Transition with the cursor over the default timeline tab and a select effect in from the list. Now go with the whole group selected, move it off to the bottom and at time zero, now advance to the one second mark and press reset on the y, y value. Let's add an ease in on this keyframe while we're there. Now I'm going to add another timeline tab like we did in the last tutorial and rename this tab timeline loop RSS feed. Now select the effect in again and we'll move the cursor down to about the five second point. And that's where I want to add an event and activation. Type in a loop RSS feed, get into a good habit of renaming the layers in the scene graph so it's easier to look at and fix later. Now make sure we have the effect in selected and in the event properties add a data event and select RSS from the available sources. I've already selected a Top Stories RSS feed from the BBC, so with that site open, I'm just copying the URL and I'm going to paste it into the RSS configurator panel. Click OK and all the RSS information will be displayed below. Now you want to pick the headlines as the source to display in, in Lyric. Click the pull down and you will see all the scene graph layers. We renamed the text template layer before to RSS text, so it is easy to select from the list. 
advance the timeline to frame 1 and add the data command to the active events and select move first from the list which ensures we start at the top of the list. Now move to frame 2, add the data command again and select update from the list. And one more time at frame 3 select display from the list. There's a simple way to test the scene to make sure we are getting the RSS feed. Click edit from the Lyric toolbar and select update data object fields. So as you can see it has now fetched the first headline from the RSS feed and displayed it in Lyric. Okay the effect in it is complete. Now select the loop RSS feed timeline tab and the first thing is to add the RSS text box group and add it to the transition. Now I want the whole effect to be about 5 seconds so adjust the length of the object in the timeline. Move the timeline cursor down to frame 10 and let's move the group down in the Y position. It disappears because of the static mass that we used. And I always like to add an ease to the effect so at frame 0 right click and select modify keyframe attribute and select ease out and make it 10 frames. And at the same time let's bring the transparency down to 0 at frame 10. Now move the timeline cursor to frame 11 and let's move the text over to the right of the screen. So we'll bring the transparency back up so we can see it and we move it right on the X position until the first part of the text is not seen. Okay so that looks good so bring the transparency back down to zero and we'll move the cursor down another 10 frames and we'll adjust the position to zero so it goes to the left. So the, the desired effect is to push the text off the bottom and have the new text slide in from the right. Now as before let's add an ease in at the end of the keyframe. And the last thing to do with the animation is to make sure that the timeline object is set to loop. So we'll go to Transition Properties and select Loop. Now the animation is now done, so let's go back to the Event Properties and add the Data Object to the Timeline tab. And since, it's, since it is not there, Lyric prompts us to add it. So as before, let's add the Move Next command. Now we can also tell the Data command to loop here instead of in the Transition Properties. So click auto repeat and set the counter to 5 seconds. Move one frame and set it to update and auto repeat at 5. And for the last one we will want the RSS to display when the text is completely hidden. So to do that we move it down to frame 10 and set it to display and auto repeat. The final thing to do is to set the trigger to move to the first of the list when you get to the end of the list. The trigger was already set to display so we can delete that one because we had already told it to display in the other menus. The RSS feed could be different each day so this trigger handles what it needs to do no matter how many headlines are in the list. Okay, we're done. Let's record the scene and play it to see what it looks like. I'm using the Mosaic hardware today so it's pretty hard to show what the output looks like in this tutorial. But while I'm here, let's see this new feature with this mosaic system. Click on the config hardware from Lyrics Tools and click on Setup Output Configuration. And there's a proxy window source selection. Set it to Mix and a preview proxy will appear which you can resize. Now when I play this scene to the output you will see exactly what is appearing on the output of the system. The text has already been updated as the RSS feed must have been updated. Now this scene can be used each day manually or in your news rundown and it will automatically be updated with the ever-changing RSS feed. A great and easy way of getting today's top stories to air at any time during the day.